Good morning traders and this is your Aussie day trade setup for today. So as usual before we get going, um, the small account, not a big day yesterday, we were actually on target at one stage and then uh, I made two concessive bad decisions which uh, lost us a bit of money. But I think at the end of the day we are still up 2.07% um, for yesterday. So that's not too bad. Um, I think our average for for the week so far is it's just over 10 percent okay anyway um we didn't end up with a green pin bar yesterday we ended up with a red one so this line here is where we closed so we pretty much closed on the level that um, i suggest yesterday was our line in the sand okay so if we can just drill down into that You can see this last bar here is uh, nonsense data, and we close pretty much on 50.019. Okay, and as expected yesterday, we had the rally up, opportunity to be short, and that's exactly what happened. Okay, now looking for that turning point, there you're looking for fractals. Okay, fractals are the area where you want your turning points to be. If you look on the three hour, you can see there's only one fractal here. So look for the next one. The next one's going to be these three here. So I normally like putting three in. Those are my three levels, and we'll just have a look at that on the lower time frames now. But also, you can see we've broken through the alligator. Back up, we've now tested the alligator. So technically speaking, a close below this green pin bar here um, triggers shorts but I'm still concerned about this level I want to see a break through this level before committing to shorts at the moment um, so I want to be short higher up or alternatively until we get a break so if you look at the hour you'll see we had the the gap up the rally and you can see the hour pin bars here were pretty much um, not really adhered to uh, but we did step in right off the top four hour level. Actually, we're just a little bit short of that. Okay, so what I normally do is if I see a, a one hour in the same region as where there's four hours, I'll just drill down to the lower time frame and uh, look for put an alert on my chart so that when it gets to this area, I can watch to see what's going on. Okay, so there, there you can see the 200 EMA. On the half hour also held up price pretty well okay but at the moment what we have here inside bar um engulfing bar and then a bit of a sell-off so a little bit of a mixed bag for me at the moment i just want to check fibonacci here it wouldn't surprise me if that uh, just over the 61.8 just get rid of it Okay, so there were the entry short. It was a little bit of a flag here that was brewing, but that, that didn't materialize, it just carried on to be short. And I think for now, you know, the same as yesterday applies. We may get a bit of a bounce, or we may just get a straight move down. Now, US markets will be closed today. Hang Seng is down slightly. Uh, DAX futures is down slightly, and 10 cents up. Let me just refresh and believe that 10 cent up 1.4 percent yep 10 cents up 1.4 percent so i suspect um we're probably going to get another move to the upside now don't be too surprised if we get a move to the upside and somewhere along one of these levels we take profit and move down and we turn this into a range okay but looking at the half i can see uh, awesome moss ladder we've got diversions here okay uh, 12 minutes is pretty much going to be the same as yesterday actually almost exactly the same as yesterday fracture break to the upside is 51.88 and break to the downside will be 50,000 okay so the 50,000 level is still the one we need to pay attention to 
um, we could end up with a break to the upside, and then I suspect we're probably going to head to the same area. Um, maybe just let's just get now put that level in there. Okay, so targets to the upside again are going to be fifty four seven four or fifty five four seven. We could also take profit here, but I don't think so. I think if we do break above this fractal here, this range should play out. So this is our range here. That moves us to there, which is going to be a 200 moving average, 200 EMA on the 12 minutes. I don't think there'll be anything else here. No. Okay. Anyway, that's kind of um, the view that I have at the moment. Uh, it looks like probably another move to the upside. I think if the next move to the upside, and there's just one last thing I want to highlight here, and that is this. Probably should be using a fan for this, but anyway. So in other words, you can see we're kind of rounding and the fall is getting more and more aggressive. So this is typical of either a breakthrough or finding a bottom and then we start breaking through each one of these trend lines. So what you normally find is that you have price move up to the first trend line, come back. If you create a higher low, then it moves up to the next one, comes back, it creates a higher low again move the next one, comes back, then move the next one, comes back, and then breaks through. Okay, so that's kind of the picture to the upside at the moment. So I'm not really interested in shorting here. I want to see a proper break before I start shorting from this level. So again, same advice as yesterday, wait for the pullback, um, and then look for an opportunity to get back in. Just be wary of the fact that this could be a, a, a double bottom. Okay, I just want to go to a six-hour chart. But I think for me, it's bottom of range. So probably a move back to the top of range. But this is moving down. So if I delete the noise here. Whichever one you want to take. But that's pretty much a downward channel at the moment. Okay. Um, let's just quickly look at the Ichimoku, uh, start of the 12. I don't think the 12 is going to give us much, because it's up and down all over the place. So I wouldn't really pay much attention to the 12 at the moment. Um, half hour, bearish, bearish, bearish. So even if we do get a rally to the, to the upside, there are a couple of things that you'll be looking for. That's the one. And uh, at the top of the cloud will be other. So the underside of the cloud with uh, Kijinson on the half hour would be the first area. And then what I'd also be paying attention to would be one of the di diagonals, which will be this one here. Okay. Uh, if we look at the one hour, okay, pretty much the same, unless we break above this fractal or m match it, that'll be top of cloud. So everything is still um, bearish at the moment. And four hour, we've had a break of the cloud, we've had a retest, and the retest failed. Or well, the retest was successful, the, the break up well, failed. The cloud is, is dark, uh, ticker span is down. The only thing that's concerning is the flat Kijasin and Jigginson. But this is very much looking like we should be looking for opportunities to be short, but not down here, higher up. Okay, and we are also through Kijinson on the daily, and we've basically tested it. But now look at the daily pattern here. Okay, it is a red pin, but not a green one. But that is a bullish signal as well. We need confirmation, but that is a bullish signal. Okay, I suspect another sort of short-term rally in the morning, and then a bit of a sell-off later on. Just bear in mind that the afternoon is going to be very quiet with the U.S. closed today. Okay. 
So that's kind of my view for today. Uh, looking for a pullback. And I can't really give you a, an exact area of where this pullback will happen. You're going to have to get your levels in and watch those levels. So on top of every fractional, and I'm doing this on the 12 minutes at the moment. You could do it on the hour. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what you're looking for is price action on one of those levels indicating another move to the downside. Okay, so maybe what you want to be doing is look for the top of the channel. Uh, that probably would make the most sense. So look for a level that's close to the top of the channel and then back down again. Your stop is going to be above the high, the previous high on the hour, which is the high of yesterday. Okay, so anyway guys, um, that's my view for today. Just be very cautious of taking a short off the bottom here. Okay, and uh, the same same advice for a long off the bottom as well. I'm going to get it, but uh, the current trend is slightly down. So whatever you move, whatever long you take is actually a scalp. Uh, you want to be with the trend, and the trend at the moment is down. Okay, so anyway guys, um, that's it for me today, still a mixed bag on Aussie, but um, there's money to be made here. Uh, just sh keep shorting, but short from the top of the channel. Okay, anyway, hope it helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.